welcome to Weekly Economic Insights, your weekly dose of events and news that you need to know to manage your personal finances. I am Pradhuma Bhatnagar. Let's begin with all the stock market action of the week gone by. Nifty 50 index corrected 0.3% this week, closing at 21,782.50 compared to last week's closing at 21,853.80. Sensex was down 0.6%, about 490 points. FII sold securities worth Rs 5,871.45 crore net, where DII is bought securities worth Rs 5,000. 325.76 crore net. Let's now talk about all the global market action. Nasdaq Composite gained 361.71 points, which was up by 2.32%, closing at 15,990. Dow Jones Industrial closed at 38,671, up by only 17.07 points compared to last week's closing. FTSE was down 42.96 points, closing at 7,572.58. Hang Seng gained 213.02 points. It was up by 1.3%. Let's now talk about commodities. Oil futures gained for five straight days this week, up by 5.97% this week closing at $76.60. Now, the gain can be attributed to a ceasefire and fading hopes for a hostage release deal between Israel and Hamas, at least for the near term. Let's now move on to the big corporate news. In a big setback to Paytm, the Reserve Bank of India restricted Paytm Payments Bank from accepting any new deposits and transactions after the 29th of February 2024 other than interest, cashbacks or refunds. It even restricted the bank's ability to provide UPI facilities to its customers. However, withdrawals or utilization of balances by its customers from their accounts including saving bank accounts, current accounts, prepaid instruments, fast tags, national common mobility cards, etc. are permitted without any restrictions. Now, speaking on the issue, the Reserve Bank of India said the crackdown was a result of the bank's failure to comply with regulations despite repeated warnings. The RBI governor said sufficient time had been given to all parties for corrective action. 197 Communication Limited, OCL, the parent of payment provider Paytm, said it's complying with RBI restrictions by ending usage of Paytm Payments Bank and accelerating partnerships with other banks for payment processing. Now, Paytm has said and they've announced the formation of a group advisory committee which is going to be chaired by a former SEBI chairman and this is to work with the board in further strengthening compliance and regulatory matters. Now, the shares of the company have tanked more than 75% compared to its issue price currently trading at 419.15. It also hit the lower circuit for three consecutive days after the regulator's action. In some other news then, are Mukesh Ambani and Mickey going to join hands while the proposed merger between Reliance Industries and Walt Disney for their Indian media businesses has become a topic of hot speculation on the large street? The proposed transaction will give Reliance access to Disney's massive libraries across the English language, including its Marvel catalogue. The exchange sought clarification from Reliance. Reliance has refused to comment on any news related to this topic. In some other news, Tata Group crossed 30 lakh crore in market cap. Tata Group's combined market capitalization crossed rupees 30 lakh crore on the 6th of February, making it the first Indian business house ever to hit this milestone. Tata Motors stock witnessed a surge in the past month, driven by strong earnings with contributing factors like the easing impact of semiconductor chip shortage, low raw material prices, and a robust demand. Tata Consultancy is now the biggest company under Tata, making about half the market of the whole 30 lakh crore market cap. It has given returns of 16.7% in the last year. 
Let's now talk about the UPI space and this is going to be beneficial if you're planning to visit France anytime soon. UPI is now available in France. Indian tourists can purchase tickets for the Eiffel Tower via UPI. The National Payment Corporation of India has partnered with Lyra, a French leader in securing e-commerce and proximity payments to make this facility available to users. While Eiffel Tower is the first merchant to offer UPI payments in France, this service will soon be extended to other merchants in the tourism and retail space, opening numerous opportunities for merchants across France and even Europe. Let's now move to some other news. In news from the Central Bank, in the first monetary policy meet of 2024 and the first post the interim budget, the Central Bank decided to keep rates unchanged. The RBI said the global economy showed potential for soft landing, inflation was easing, growth was stronger than expected. The central bank also said headline inflation after moderating to 4.9% in October rose to 5.7% in December 2023 and this was primarily due to food inflation. Now, let's talk about news that you should watch out for this week. The Series 4 issue of SGB or Sovereign Gold Bonds 2023-24 will be open for subscription from the 12th of February to the 16th of February. These will be issued on the 21st of February. The issue price is Rs 6,263. However, investors applying and making the payment through digital mode will be eligible for a discount of Rs 50, making the effective price for them to be 6,230. Finally, news from the IPO space. Five IPOs will be listing on exchanges this week. These include APJ Surindra Park Hotels, Rashi Peripherals, Capital Small Finance Bank, Jana Small Finance Bank and Entero Healthcare Solutions. Well, with this, we've reached the end of this video. Do not forget to share this video. One Finance will bring you every week the top news and updates that impact your personal finances. Do follow One Finance.